you know, you are, this is an amazing country. You know, I started by saying how you, many of you do not understand how Korea has walked onto the world stage and started to show the rest of the world how to do this thing called nation building. It's, it's a miracle. It's the miracle of the Han River, but it can stop. It's whatever the communities are to have an under, say, what kind of a nation, what kind of a culture, what kind of a world do we want? Hangenaseo. Yeah. Well, we're really happy to be here with you today. Oh, it's a true honor, and I'm really looking forward to what we're going to discuss together. Every good society, there is a balance between individualism and the community. And what we are going to talk about today are some of the threats to that balance here in Korea and threats that younger generations, especially the MZ generation, need to understand. Every advanced nation in the world has some kind of social welfare safety net. Every advanced nation. And the stronger that that safety net is, the more advanced is the nation, the more secure that nation can be. The problem is that everybody in society is afraid of those people who take and take and take, but they don't give. The takers, but they don't give back. And so there's always a sense of distrust that how do I know that if I give to this system, if I give to the welfare of my nation or my culture, how do I know that if I have needs, I'm going to get something back? And then if I'm giving and giving and I'm seeing the older population, the retired population grow and grow and grow, I have to give more. And then how do I know that there's going to be anything for me? And so somehow there has to be this balance and it has to get rebalanced. And we have to have this idea that people at the top, people who are making the decisions, are going to make the best decisions for everybody, not just themselves, but also for people who are younger. Your pension fund is under threat, and it's under threat because your birth rate has changed. And it's, the threat is actually kind of small right now, but it's gonna grow tremendously. And if I'm in, you, if I'm in the shoes of a young person, a young per, anybody in Korea who's below the age of probably 50, I'm really concerned because why should I give when I may not get anything back? Because without doing that, then you're going to run the risk that we lose everything, that you spend everything and we get nothing. And you're, you've asked us to give about whether when I get to the place where I need to make my withdrawals, there's going to be anything to withdraw. Now, you have a few options out of this. One obstacle is going to be, well, you know, we got to increase the birth rate, so we have to get Koreans to have more children. That's not a solution because you can't convince people to have more children. Another answer can be foreign workers. You have to see 30 years into the future. If this pension fund collapses, Korea collapses. So you're gonna bring in foreign workers, but they didn't really wanna come here, so you didn't need anybody, but now you do. So are you ready to have a bunch of people in your society who don't look like you? And the answer that I have is you better be. These people, these foreigners are gonna save us. They're gonna save our nation. MZ generation needs to understand the gravity of what Korea is facing today. So that you do two things. One, you put pressure on people in power to make the best decisions, the decisions that are in your interest, not now, but your interests in 20 and 30 years. And that's also where people who are younger have to put pressure on people who are making the older generations who are making the decisions to say, don't just take care of these things right now. You have to think 20, 30, and 40 years into the future. Because without doing that, then you're going to run the risk that we lose everything, that you spend everything and we get nothing. And you're, you've asked us to give. And two, when they begin making those decisions, you don't resist them. You understand what the gravity is. You're going to have to do some things and accept some things that your parents did not need to do and accept. That's just the reality. You know, you are, this is an amazing country. It's, it's a miracle. It's the miracle of the Han River, but it can stop. And then it's important for you to bring your voice to the table to ensure that 
other people understand what it is that you see and just continue to walk through it. Open doors, put your voice out there, it will happen. But the future of the nation really depends on it. You need to be empowered. You're a unique, powerful, and important generation for the future of this nation.